of LGMC in Auburn, serving our community for six seconds. And this is a 24 Sierra Denali All EV Edition 1. Really cool. Tons of space. Yeah. Well, one pedal driving when you're let off on the gas. I don't know why they still call it gas. But yeah. It'll it'll get energy from the braking and okay. recharge the batteries a little bit. So yeah, that's cool. A longer. It's all on the screen too. It shows you everything. Yeah. Oh, and that's cool too on the the rear view mirror. You can see it the whole time. So how did you get started? You've got a couple different foundations going. It sounds mm -hmm. like you got the one up here and the one down there is that where you're yeah from? so it's the same foundation it's the heather janikowski foundation that we started in 2021 when my mom passed away from cancer she died from cancer from breast cancer and uh, we started that foundation she was super involved in the community and our goal really was to just continue her name and stay in the community and be able to help those because especially with cancer is it's really hard with medical costs and just Kind of just being able to be there to help those uh we started it in california and with my platform up here in washington i decided to bring that up here and make it kind of fun use it with field goals doing the more than a kick and then doing the kicking cancer that we also do at zeppos and yeah it's been a huge success we've raised about over one hundred forty thousand dollars, and it's been super super fun yeah fantastic well as i mentioned i lost both my parents to cancer mm -hmm. so that's been something that we've done at the dealership in uh, the month of of October is typically we do a, a test drive for you come test drive a car and then we'll uh -huh. donate ten dollars towards um, cancer foundation and so hopefully we can generate a lot of test drives at the same mm -hmm. time uh, some, some money for, for cancer. Yeah that's amazing especially just being able to give back to those people we've been able to do a bunch of things I'm sure just like your foundation being able to pay for people's expenses or stay in hotels when they have to go to Seattle and get their yeah. treatments. Well and I uh, I had lunch yesterday, and I'll, I got to tell you, it was uh, it was a bet mm -hmm. he owed me for you guys winning the apple, <laughs> and he bought me lunch. But he and I talked in length about it. His son's going through about a cancer, and and that was one of the things he mentioned was he's got great insurance, mm -hmm. but he figured they were going to spend an extra thirty thousand uh, dollars a year just covering stuff that wasn't covered. Yep. And um, driving, taking your car, yeah. gas, everything. Yeah. And, and he also said how blessed he was because we live close to Seattle. Mm -hmm. And if he didn't, you know, Seattle's one of the top mar um, um, cancer research areas. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't, and you had to go every two weeks across the state or oh, yeah. another state. And so uh, it's, you mentioned that that's one of the areas that you're contributing yeah, to. Yeah, it adds up quick. Someone in Pullman, we were able to donate to them and they had to go, same thing, like you said, go all the way to Seattle, and they ended up having to stay there for a few months just so they could save some money on that. So, so helping yeah. to be able to pay for their costs like that, yeah. and a hotel, and be of support. Fantastic, you're doing that. And I'm, uh, I'm also uh, was proud to see you being honored as one of the 11 finalists there for the- The Allstate, the Allstate Good Hands. Allstate Good Hands. It's been super cool, it's been, it's been amazing. There's. I believe there's around 180 guys, and to be selected as the 11 is really, really cool. It's been, it means a ton. And so to be able to have that support too as well and kind of keep bringing awareness is huge. So yeah, it's pretty quiet, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this thing, and it drives so smooth, those big 24 inch rims like you are saying. Yeah. And it's it's so quiet and it's it's just super smooth. I, that, that back trunk was super cool, how you showed me how you could fold that thing fold down, down, fit all your stuff in there. I love this big screen, everything. Yeah. And the, the heads up display. I think that's a safety feature for me. I don't I don't have to take my eyes off the road. Yeah, and be able to have the uh, speed limit on there too, everything. Speed limit is, is perfect for Highway 26. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> when they try to get you there. Right. No, it's it's amazing. I love the rear view mirror, the camera, the everything on it is just so sleek and so, I, it's awesome. So cool. I love the huge sunroof too. Really cool. And how many, what's the range on this? You know, it uh, it said when we left yesterday, it said 440. Okay. And of course, it, it depends on how you drive and all the stuff that yeah. you do. And could it go up if you're going downhill? Does it recharge on the downhill? It, it will recharge and it'll recharge even more if you do the wind pedal driving, which I, I do use. It does make it a little jerkier. Uh-huh. And what is the one pedal drive? You, 
You don't oh. have to use your brake as much because you lift up on it and it'll okay. slow right down. Oh yeah, so you give it gas and then if I let go, it stops us just yeah, now. Yeah, and then you'll see the, up here it's like giving you the kilowatts that you're using in red. Okay. And then it turns to green and the kilowatts that you're, you're charging. And is this an all-wheel drive vehicle? Yeah, it's got, it's got, and it's also got quadra steer, which is fabulous for a big vehicle to turn in a parking, mm -hmm. you know, turn into a parking lot. Yeah. And then also the wheels go opposite in the parking lot. On the other hand, if you're um, if you're towing something, they go the same way. So okay. It, so you can't fishtail. And then it's got crab walk. And admittedly, I've only used it once, and that was at the airport when I picked somebody up. And you know how you get oh yeah, and, and then, work your way in. And I, I was able to just turn those wheels. And just wow, run around. So that's I think amazing. It was, I think it was built for off road. <laughs> yeah. For, not for the airport, but in Seattle, that's the closest to off-roading. You showed me that the front, so that front little case you have, you're able to fit a ton of stuff. Yeah. Your suitcases, everything. Yeah. So for charging, where do you have to go to charge? Um, the GM's made a deal with Tesla, so you can get an adapter for these Tesla chargers, as well as what's called the CCS chargers. Mm -hmm. and over here in Pullman, there's one at uh, the Welcome, the Bellsford Welcome Center there. Okay. This battery is a 205 watt battery. Uh -huh. And you can plug it into the house, and if the power goes out, it'll run the house for 21 days. Is what they're saying. That's amazing, yeah. and plenty of plugs, so you can plug in your phone, everything. You've got you got one, two one tens in the back, and a two twenty in the back. So yeah. if you're running something at a job site, for example, that tools, everything. Yeah, I would say my favorite on this thing is just having everything right in front of me. Like especially the big screen's nice, but being able to control everything, the cruise control. Um, having all of what you're playing right here, the temperature, all of that right in front of you without having to move around or do anything is really awesome. Right. And as you get older, the big screen becomes a better deal. Yeah, for I'm sure. Not, I'm not doing this. Trying to Reach up for your glasses. I'm driving. It's connected to my phone. So if I'm and searching some on my phone, I can it's actually... It's right through there. If I say, well, I want to go to the Relsford Center, It'll tell me my current charge is. Oh, in the range and how much yeah, you got? Yeah, my current range is four. I'm at forty percent. It says uh, by the time I get there, it'll be thirty nine percent. Wow. And if I was leaving home, it'll say what I will be at when I got home. So it helps mm -hmm. get rid of that range anxiety. How quick can you charge it? With the uh, with the DC fast charger, you can do hundred miles in about ten minutes. So it's fairly fairly quick. Uh, most people are just going to have a level two charger that they might put in at home, mm -hmm. and that'd be 11 kilowatts up to maybe 19 is about 20 miles an hour. Uh -huh. So if you're driving 200 miles a day, you come home, you plug it in, you get up. Yeah, it's day. perfect. What would the cost be to recharge it every so often? Like electricity cost if you're trying to. In, you know, I don't know in, in Pullman, but I know in, in, in the west western Washington, we're paying about 13 cents a kilowatt hour. So 205 kilowatts, but charge it from zero to, to full it'd be about 27 bucks so it's it's a third or more maybe yeah of what it would be for a, a, a good gas car it's a it's a great deal for that i've i've fallen in love with electric vehicles and things like that um i i made an electric bike for my girlfriend similar to that electric bike that you showed me the hummer electric bike it's amazing how cheap it is to charge it and amazing just how reliable it is. Less maintenance than a normal gas car, gas bike, and things like that. 